In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to all of you who are watching us online today. Let us call to mind our sins as we seek the Lord's mercy and healing. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend to the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come, al come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the gracious word of, his, of this that can build up and give you inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone silver, gold, or clothing. You know well that these very hands I've served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with all of them. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice responds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in, his, in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be familiar with Viktor Frankl. He was an, Aust an Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist who wrote about the horror of his three years in four concentration camps in Nazi Germany. And he wrote about this experience in his book, Man's Search for Meaning. And as the title indicates, Dr. Frankl's book reflects on what he learned about finding meaning in all forms of existence, even the most hopeless, and thus realize a reason to continue on living. And so he writes about this, uh, he, he writes uh, uh, this about the intersection of success and happiness. Don't aim at success. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you're going to miss it. For success, like happiness, cannot be pursued. It must ensue. And it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself, or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. Happiness must happen, and the same holds for success. You have to let it happen by not caring about it. I want you to listen to what your conscience commands you to do and go on to carry it out to the best of your knowledge. Then you will live to see that in the long run, in the long run, I say, success will follow you precisely because you had forgotten to think about it. In our gospel today from the writer John, Jesus is uh, praying what is called the high priest prayer, and it comes near the conclusion of the Last Supper account. And he prays that we, his church, in this time and place, may share my joy completely. Now, if we've been paying attention, we realize that such joy is realized only when we stop looking for our own joy and seek instead joy for others. When we work to make our families and our community a place of happiness and peace for one another. When we put aside our own problems to take on the poverty and suffering of others, especially during this pandemic. Only in imitating Jesus' spirit of loving service will we find his complete joy. As Viktor Frankl discovered, happiness for ourselves is found outside of ourselves.
we now lift up to the Lord our needs and concerns as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and the leaders of our church, may the Lord continue to bless them as they lead us on a path of Christ's truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders in government, may God give them wisdom and strength to lead communities in peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from chronic pain, may God bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community gathered together today, may God strengthen our bonds and guide us in our proclamation of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have fallen asleep in the hope of Christ, may God grant them mercy and everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Henry Harry Wineski, who we remember especially at this Mass, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. <laughs> Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate as our dutiful service. Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, you are indeed holy, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and with all the Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
May the peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Yes, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Together. When the paraclete comes, whom I will send you, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you also will bear witness, says the Lord. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Please be seated. Just have a few announcements to make, uh, and they are really uh, house rules. Um, notice anything different about the church today? Wow, the chairs have come back. So I want to thank uh, some parishioners who gave of their time, uh, a number of hours really, and uh, the Scout Troop 758 who brought the about 240 chairs from the parish center back here to the church. Uh, so uh, uh, when I first looked at it the other day, I, I was a bit stunned by how different the spacing looks. So we go from six feet to three feet of social distance. So we, uh, I would ask that you uh, continue to join me in the vigilance of this. Um, uh, starting Monday at Daily Mass, uh, we will have sign-ups for three jobs. The first will be an MC, and that man and woman uh, will uh, make sure that um, you're able to help you find a seat and will help you uh, dismiss the church. We will continue to, to dismiss from the back of the church to the front. Again, we're emphasizing the social distancing. Um, so that person uh, would need to uh, uh, minister in that way. I, we also uh, asked someone to sign up to lecture and someone uh, to help me distribute Holy Communion here in the center aisle. So I think we're at this point uh, in our lives and in our parish that we can do these things, uh, which is what we did before the pandemic. So I, I would just ask that you uh, please sign up in advance. That sign up will be available soon. Um, with regards to the seats, uh, we will offer uh, messaging to the parish by way of social media and the Friday's flock note that as you come to church, um, whether as an individual or as a family or as a couple, when you come into church and go to your seat, make sure that you keep two chairs as a separator. Uh, and that, that is three feet. So uh, the... Uh, the responsibility is on all of us to make sure that we keep that social distance. We will continue to sanitize our hands. So those hand sanitizers are going to be out in the narthex and at the entrance of the church. So please, please, keep sanitizing your hands. Um, we want to make sure that all of our parishioners and our visitors are safe when they come here to see. And we have done a fantastic job in making sure of everyone's safety. And if you, uh, uh, if you wish to, uh, to continue to wear your mask, you may do so. Um, and then what else? What else? What else? I think that's it for now. So I'm surprised I remembered all that information. Oh, so starting today, I'm going to walk out of the church, and I will greet you at arm's length. And I think that's three feet. And, uh, and then... Uh, uh, Mo will, will dismiss you as I go into the, into the North X. Have a wonderful day, everybody. <laughs>